Scientists have found a new type of life in the water in Antarctica's subglacial Lake Vostok. Researchers found the bacteria while studying samples of ice retrieved from a depth of almost four kilometers late last year. The project, in one of the most remote places on Earth, took years of planning. The unique ecosystem is thought to have been secluded from the surface for millions of years. For more on this, I am speaking with someone who has some unique perspective on this, RT's own Sean Thomas. Now, you were in Antarctica with many of these researchers. Tell us more about this work that they're doing. Well, certainly. Uh, this all started uh, back in the 70s uh, when Russian scientists decided they wanted to drill and do uh, global warming core samples to kind of uh, test the glacier and see uh, how, if they could kind of reimagine how the Earth changed in years past through the layers of ice. But then they discovered that the ice itself changed, meaning that there was a lake down there. They said, wait, if there's a lake down there, then that must mean that... Now, when, sorry, when we say a lake, are we talking like actual liquid water? The actual liquid water underneath the, the glacial ice. Mm -hmm. So they then started, hey, we're going to go and see if we can actually find some water. They did some uh, sonic research and said, yeah, there is liquid water down there. It's thermally heated from down below. If that's the case, then there might be life. If there's heat, then there could be life down there. So they decided to go for it. Then they got to this position where they said, hey, guess what? We can actually break through and find out. And then there was an ethical debate. Do we introduce this atmosphere to this untouched, pristine environment, which hasn't been touched for billions of years? And they were really excited about the prospect of finding new life because um, if you have this microcosm environment, it could lead to some discoveries as to how we evolved, or it could lead to some medical discoveries as well. So very intense uh, research, and then finally they broke through last year, and now uh, they're still doing the research to find out exactly what type of life it is. You know, not much of information has become available to us, but a very exciting find, that's for sure. And so in the end, it appears that they took the risk to actually invade that space in order to it was worth to see what was down there. Indeed, in fact, there were some people who were, were saying we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't break through this this final barrier because what if there's something down there that's harmful to us and we uh, open Pandora's box, if you will. But uh, that was not the case. They did break through. There are also concerns about contaminating this lake as well because they had to use this uh, lubricant, this mixture of oil and uh, alcohol. That some of that will eventually get down into this lake, and they were like, why would we want to damage this pristine environment? Uh, but they determined that the uh, benefits out weighed the risks and now we have this uh, this new discovery so to speak and speaking of risks this is a place in one of the most remote places on Certainly. the planet and you have to do a lot of preparation to actually even go to this place. Tell us more about that. Certainly. To get to actual Lake Fostek itself, it takes two weeks of acclimatization. It is the coldest place on Earth. Uh, in fact, uh, Viktor Mikhailovich, who is the uh, station chief at where I stayed at Bellingshausen Station, uh, he was part of the expedition in 1983 that brought drilling equipment uh, to restock the Vostok Station. Uh, he was there when they recorded minus 89 degrees centigrade, the coldest recorded temperature on Earth, reliably recorded temperature. Um, and these people go through extreme conditions. Uh, they they uh, weather the elements, they go through sickness themselves because to adapt your body to such an extreme environment is difficult as well, just for the benefit of scientific research and for all mankind. So kudos goes out to these people, but definitely extreme and harsh, uh, big find under extreme conditions. Absolutely amazing stuff. Thanks very much, Sean.